How you going everyone? Uh, Thursday live, as I do every Thursday. Uh, it's the response and the questions coming during the week, it's massive. Thanks very much. I'm glad people are appreciating it. Um, I, I went to Sydney Dragway last week and I was overwhelmed by the people excited about what bike I was riding and, and I was excited about what bikes you were riding most of all. So um, yeah, it's just good fun. Um, but look, real quick one, something comes up all the time. People don't understand it. You're not gonna get it in a normal everyday service shop. Um, I've been racing bikes all my life and I've worked for the best riders in the world in suspension and race tuning shocks. So a thing that comes up is this business. Get it out of your head, it's just marketing. There's no such thing as a progressive spring that works properly. And anyone that says it, it's just a word that's used in internet and marketing, oh, progressive. So what they're saying is the close coils here, which are the softer part of the, the spring preload, and then it progressively gets into the, 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 the firmer part of the spring. But what really happens uh, is these coils close up. See, look how easy they are to close up on my hand. The right way to set suspension up or have good control of your front end or rear end, the rear end's a little bit different. You've got to think a little bit different with the rear end when we're talking dual shocks. But you definitely don't race a bike with progressive springs in it. I'm not knocking the brand. Don't, I'm not knocking the brand. The brand's fine. We're not I'm not talking about brand names, the company progressive so what you want is this part of the spring quite often mark one of my suspension guys here he races bikes he's raced all over the country super bikes we're racers here you know only get this in a normal shop normal shop would pull it would put this back in or wouldn't understand what's in front of them so having control this is the area of the spring we want this is the straight rate part so we buy race tech springs and that's what we use there's other brands that are really good too the biggest problem is you've got to know how to set them up. So uh, you can't just, millimeters of preload on that make a massive difference to how the shock is. So quite often we get, this bike just had a set of, it's a V-Rod shock. It's had a straight rate spring put in it and it's all our oils, uh, it's, it's set up like we're racing a bike. It's, it's going to handle really well and then when the, when the pressure's on or it's coming in a corner or you're braking, this shock has a lot more control over it. It's quite, this is progressive. Not progressive springs, but in the action and, and how it, how it um, loads up and pressures in the, in the forks there. There's a lot more to it, but basic shops don't understand this. They'll just stick a quantity of oil in it. Harley or Yamaha might say 350 mils. That doesn't mean nothing. Uh, there's more to it. Where the oil height is, how the air gets crushed up, how the spring takes up, and what grade of oil, and dealing with a fork that's not really great to start with, not knocking Harley forks, but this is, a, this is a 30 plus year design fork. So we have to bring it in the 21st century. We can do that by putting emulators and things like that, but sometimes that's not even needed. Uh, this is for a V-Rod, this is all fixed. It works absolutely beautiful. Um, it's got good control. It'll stop well, I'm not talking just about bumps, it'll stop well. First time you grab the brakes and it'll put the, the load into the road and the bike will pull up. These are just some V-Rod motors we're building here, our APL motors, so they're all getting built. Um, but anyway, that's, that's the take on progressive springs. Stay away from them, or not the brand, just the design. They're not used in motorbikes at all. Uh, I'll come over to here. Just got some bikes going on and this V-Rod's for sale. It's one of my customers' bikes, it's an absolutely beautiful bike. Uh, it's, it's, these are our custom controls we make, um, you know, 8000 series. It's, 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 would owe him over 35 grand. He doesn't want anywhere near that. It's a really good bike. Give me a call if you're interested. It's a beautiful bike. It's a friend of mine's bike. Hey Darren, how you going? And um, yeah, we'll, we'll, A couple quick questions. I've got a really cool announcement to make. Uh, but first off, a couple quick questions. Um, uh, the yeah, thanks to all the guys from Copperhead Motorcycle Group. 
social group, really good guys have all been coming in here and and we've been getting through their bikes, solving problems, tuning. Uh, this is a specialty shop. If you, most of the enthusiasts in motorcycles come here. Uh, so we're really proud to be able to help people and clear up some myths that are going on. Look, we get asked too, I've been asked, uh, Michael, he's bringing his bike in uh, from up the coast. Um, I'll fix it, Michael. I'm glad you like the lives. Uh, thanks very much, you're, you're a champion. You come in yesterday, you drove all the way from Newcastle just to tell me he's gonna bring his bike in here and he watches the lives. Um, look, I've got asked a question, this gets asked a lot. People think we don't do it, we're just in the high end of fuel injection. I got asked, um, who is it from? Uh, Steve. Steve, Steve's Steve got a 2000 model fat boy with a 113 inch, I'm presuming, Screaming Eagle engine. They weren't a bad motor in their day, let me tell you. It's got a stock CVO, a stock, stock CV carburetor on it. Um, yes, we can tune that. Now, it's not just about tuning that. It could be some advice given, and I spoke to Steve, and he's got a lot of confidence in us. That 113 could max out what the capabilities of that CV are, but we're gonna test it for him for free on the dyno, and I'm just gonna see, I built these motors before years ago, and um, we're just gonna see what happens and put a budget and a plan. So on, does he upgrade the carburetor? Can we work? What are we getting? Torque, horsepower, uh, where are we gonna sit? with the final results. Do we modify the CV carburetor? I know how to do all that, done it lots of times. Uh, so here's about advice and working with the customer on getting a really good result for, for good value. Now I'll just ask one, this is real exciting to me. Massive success, thank you all the breakout riders and most of all, um, thank you for the Facebook group, Harley Breakout Riders. Uh, Glenn, everyone, I'm really, happy we're doing breakouts daily they're all getting cleared up the tuning's getting sorted um, and just in celebration of that for the first time i'm going to offer anyone who's a member of the harley breakout group i'm going to offer them 50 dollars discount on the dinos okay just i'll run it for two weeks uh look you know there's hundreds of people ringing up the phones have gone crazy and Look, thanks very much. I'm glad all you guys are really into what you guys like. It's a really good group of people on the breakouts. I'm, I'm interested in the old and younger people and I'm interested in getting them sorted out. If, you've, if you're at another shop and, you know, and it's far away or something like that and you just want to get the bikes tuned and sorted, come to APL, Climate Control Dyno Room. Everything's done here. We race the world's fastest bikes, We're racing Nitro Harleys and or well, like I said, we're all, we're all at the high end of it and this workshop's the most sophisticated in the country. And I just want to shout out to all the breakout riders. Thanks very much for your support. These are all great. And um, that $50 discount, just show me that you're on Harley Breakout Riders Group and I'll, I'll make sure staff know and we're discounting $50. Look, talk soon. Thanks very much for the Thursday Live. Sorry to be so quick with them. And, um, and thanks very much for all the feedback. I, I can't believe it. It's, it's amazing, the feedback. It, it, it blows me out, all the people that are interested. Thanks, Sam.